Hey guys, welcome to another very special video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up rightfully for your project. So uh, I'm going to be taking you from scratch a brand new Rails app. We'll use the rightfully uh, app generator. So let's head over to the terminal over here. So I've already installed the rightfully gem on my computer. Uh, if you haven't, uh, gem install rightfully and uh, that should uh, get your rightfully instance installed. All right, so let's get started. Uh, to in generate a new app, what we have to do is WF hyphen app new, and then we're gonna just, you know, create whatever name we want. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna do um, blog go sphere. Let's just run with that. All right, so there it is. It's generating our application. Uh, make sure that you're using rightfully 6.12. Uh, the previous version had some issues that I fixed and uh, 6.12 is the latest stable version. So we'll just let that, let that run. Uh, once it's done, then uh, now we have our app generated. So I'm just gonna go into our directory. And here I'm just gonna open it up in Sublime Text. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna configure my database. So I'm gonna go into uh, config database and here all I'm going to do is just add a host local host so I'm using the PG app uh, if you're using like something else you can use a sock version mine needs to go through the you know I, I need to set a host for the local Postgres installation to work but if you don't need that then you don't need to set that one um, it should just work right away all right so once we have the database set up the next thing we need to do is we need to configure rightfully so I'm just gonna go ahead and open uh, create a new file in the config. I'm going to call it rightfully.yml and I'm just going to paste in some configuration and I'm going to explain to you guys what each line is. So I'm just going to copy like that and then just close that out. All right, so let us let me go through each of these. So rightfully is a process that runs outside of your Rails app. So that's why we need a PID file, right? The PID file is, you know, it, it stores a process ID when the rightfully process starts. So um, we need to use the absolute path, right? So in this case, I'm just, you know, I, I put everything in my repository. So this is basically just, you know, in the Mac OS, uh, this is just a directory that I put in my Rails app. So here I need to change. So instead of try to be up, I need to do blog o sphere, just like that. And actually I'm just gonna do it and just replace everything that... All right, so that looks good. Um, so the storage key, this is just a regular old um, Amazon S3 uh, key and secret. Uh, the same with GitHub. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a GitHub uh, application so that you can, uh, you know, you can, well, it's just basically pretty simple. If you go into the GitHub applications page, just create a new app and just use the client and secret from there. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. Now, if you guys are planning some devious tricks and using these key and secret in your, you know, for whatever reason, um, go ahead and try. But uh, I, I'm gonna delete them right after this video is done. So yeah, good luck with that. All right, so that with that done, um, you know, it, most of this stuff is pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, we just, so for the hook secret, we need to generate some sort of, uh, of key, right? So for some secret that uh, GitHub is going to use when it performs a webhook. Like for example, a we uh, when it creates a, a push to your Rails app, it's gonna use this secret to confirm that this request if is coming from the GitHub site and not from a third party who is totally irrelevant to our site. So to generate that, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna go into IRB, and all I'm gonna do is require secure random, and just do a secure random.hex. That's all I did to generate it. So once I get this code, I just copy it and just pasted it here. Uh, so the one I have now will work just fine. So we'll just run with that. So the reason why I kept it like this is because if you see a setting like this, when you deploy it into production, you know exactly what to do. I mean, in production, you might not want to use these particular directories. So you could have uh, you know, a production setting 
living on your production server and all these paths point to different places. You might want to put your log in var log. You might not want to put it in your applications log folder um, or you might have a place where you put all the PID files or however you want to organize it. Just remember that the rightfully process runs separately from your Rails app. All right, so with that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and set up our Rails app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a bundle exec rake db create. All right, so that worked. So the next thing I need to do is I need to ensure that my database that I'm using for my blog for this app supports HStore. So I'm gonna do that by going to PSQL and connect to blogosphere development. All right, so what I'm gonna do is create extension if not exists, HStore. That's it. So once we're done with that, we can quit out of the Postgres uh, command line tool. So that's pretty much it. Um, now what we can do is we can try and start our Rails application and see if it works. Should work. All right, so that's the Rails app started. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and do once again, Blogosphere. And here what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to start the rightfully process. Actually, before I do that, let me explain something about the content folder. So the content folder is how your app uh, rightfully syncs into sync stuff into your your Rails app. It acts kind of like a cache, right? So when it receives a web hook from GitHub that oh hey here's a new push, it first uses this content directory to sync all the content from the GitHub repository before. It, um, you know, and, and basically the rightfully process monitors this folder and it just, you know, once it detects a change, it just starts processing the content and then just puts all that stuff into your database. So that's just a brief outline of, of what the content folder is for. In this case, I'm going to need to create the new con the content folder. So I'm just going to content. You don't need to put this in your application. Uh, if you don't want to, you can put it outside and just point it to the right place. So this this particular content setting over here. So once we have that, we can now start the rightfully process. So bin rightfully start config and then just point to the config file that we just created. So if everything works correctly, this is what you should see. Now that your rightfully process is started, you can now go ahead into your Rails app. So before we do that, before we go into a Rails app, I just remember that we have to do one more thing. So we need to be able to access our application from outside. So we're gonna use ngrok in this case, so ngrok 3000. And this is basically gonna create a tunnel from so the outside world can see our Rails app. So see here, it's pointing to port 3000 over here. So just gonna copy that, right? Just gonna copy the URL that ngrok generated for us. I'm gonna head over into uh, localhost. Uh, okay, so it says that we need to run breakdb migrate. Okay, simple enough. I'm just gonna quit that and I'm gonna do a bundle exec breakdb migrate. All right, so that will set up the rightfully data structure for you for in your database. Now we can start the real server back up. And now I'm gonna head back Okay, so that's now everything is working correctly, right? We don't want to go here yet. I'll explain to you why we're getting this error. So I'm going to go into the rightfully uh, back end. Okay, so it's going to tell me to authenticate with GitHub. So if you've created your app with GitHub, this should work just fine. So I'm going to click authenticate with GitHub. And okay, so here it is. We're, we're now uh, at the point where we can set up our site. So you can just type in whatever site name you want. So let's just say my fancy blog. And here with the site domain is where we paste in that URL that we got from ngrok, right? Uh, everything is gonna be clear in just a second, right? So this is basically a URL that the GitHub uh, webhook is gonna post a request to. All right, so once we're done with that, click next. Now, if you want to see the rightfully working, head over to the rightfully process. It's going to go through and say forging my fancy blog, adding sample content, blah, blah, blah. And once that's done, um, if you go back to the, uh, the admin area, if you hit reload, you'll see that it's now all green. And there's a check mark to say that everything that is healthy. 
So what happened just then? Like what, what just happened over there? So basically now if I go to GitHub, I'm going to see a repository that I can use. So see this here, my fancy blog. This was set up by rightfully. Now, if I go into the post folder and go to the change me directory, I'm going to get the sample content. Now I can publish this content into the database of our application. Now, all I have to do is do a git clone to start posting. So I'm going to do a git clone. Right, I'm going to open a new tab, go into CD documents, git clone, and then just paste it in there just like that. So I'm going to go into uh, my fancy blog. All right, so I'm going to open this up in uh, in sublime text and I can see the directory structure that will hold all my content. I can now go in here. I can change the name to whatever I want. I can modify this content. Um, so I'm just going to go back into the application. I'm going to go into rightfully actually my blog. And I'm going to go Rails console just to show you guys that it's an empty database. There's absolutely no post in there. So if I do post dot all, it's empty. There's nothing going on in there. It's just an empty post. Um, it's just an empty table. So I'm going to do a git. Actually, I'm just going to do a quick modification. Yay. This is our first post. Git commit initial posting git push origin master. So now uh, if we take a look at the rightfully process, uh, we will see something happen. Look at that synchronizing my fancy blog. So now it's basically pulling all the stuff from GitHub. And then it's just basically going to publish the content that I just got from my example directory. And uh, now if I go into the rails console, and I do a post dot all, bam, look at that, that post that I just push to GitHub is now in my database. So all you guys have to do to continue development from this point onwards and to, to render out the content is to go into controller post and here you just need to fill out. So def index and uh, post equals post dot all or whatever it is you want to do, right? Uh, I'm going to be posting more videos about rightfully and how you can develop using rightfully. Uh, but essentially, this is, you know, how you would go about setting up a rightfully application. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. We uh, really appreciate your support and uh, we love working on rightfully and by just by, you know, supporting us through subscribing and liking, we're going to push on and uh, make rightfully even better for you guys. And we're always taking suggestions. So if there's anything that you guys think that we can do better, uh, you know, let us know in the comments or, you know, just send me a email or whatever. Just get through to me. Thanks, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys in the next video.